1.20 p.m. check on travel concerns in southwest Montana. They will continue for many areas up until around midnight tonight. But overnight, the temperatures are going to be dropping, so wet roads could be icing up, although the snow may back off on intensity around southwest Montana. So here's the iCams, or the MDT cameras, around uh, southwest Montana. East Livingston on I-90 was seeing rain this morning. That's changed over to snow. Slush accumulations are likely. Bozeman, the snow intensity has backed off a little bit. In town, road conditions are improving, but they're very wet, and those could be icing up tonight. But as you move up to Bozeman Pass, uh, snow-covered, slushy roads up there, and slow go for travel. In getting to the higher elevation, snowing solidly in Butte, but the roads are wet, uh, but passable, so it doesn't look too bad. But again, those wet roads could be icing up. Same for Homestead Pass. We're seeing steady snow. Wet roads could turn icy as temperatures fall below freezing. Low visibility up in Elk Park, north of Butte on I-15. Slushy roads up there this afternoon as well. And look at all the snow covering McDonald Pass. Uh, that's going to be a very icy pass to go over this afternoon and this evening. Doesn't look all that great over Boulder Hill either. Uh, the crews are working hard to put down sand and clear it out, but looks like there might be an accident up over Lookout Pass because look at all the traffic backed up heading into Montana here at 1.20 p.m. So advisories are still ongoing across much of southwest Montana, both west and east of the divide. The exception is Beaverhead and Madison County. Travel concerns not uh, expected there this afternoon and evening. Higher elevations like Bozeman Pass, Homestake Pass, still under a winter storm warning through 9 p.m. Additional snow is likely through the next several hours. We'll continue to update weather and roads on our websites, on our mobile devices, and on air on KXLF and KBZK.